Morning, good morning, everybody. Um, I guess it's still morning. It's 10 o'clock my time, 11 o'clock y'all time. So um, we about to do something real interesting. We about to go take possession of a house. I've never really filmed this before. I'm um, give you a little bit of history about the house. First, let me tell you who I am, what I do, and how I do it. And I just forgot to go get Chuck. <laughs> let me turn around. So guys, my name is George Howard. I am the owner of Financial Freedom University. I am the author of Editor Credit. I'm the founder of Purchase to Profit, whether it's books, conferences, seminars, or courses, uh, we do all of that. But I've been teaching financial education for over 20 years. I know I look young, I got my baby face, <laughs> right? But uh, no, just playing. Um, but yeah, literally over 20 years we've been teaching financial education. Uh, I have my own radio show for five years across five different states, an hour long show on not one, but two radio stations in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, I, man, I own two mortgage companies. I've been teaching credit now, not just credit, but just financial education literally since 97, oh, 97, 97, 98, somewhere in there. But regardless, um, guys, I'm here. So enough about that, you guys. I've been acquiring real estate in the city of gear indiana we have purchased over 100 properties my students have bought over 300 properties and um i'm about to go take possession of one of the houses now and it's a little different a little bit more interesting because this house is the most expensive house i've ever purchased from the tax lien sale uh, this house was eleven thousand dollars and we have been going by the house uh, periodically trying to catch to somebody there and i'm starting to believe that there's just nobody there um, but there's like three or four dogs and I'm talking about dogs like pit bull dogs, like big dogs uh, there. So we're going to call the police today. And well, I got cited. So I got cited by the city of having an abandoned car in the driveway yes. and something else. Yes. And so now that I'm starting to get cited, man, I'm like, listen, we got to get possession of this property so I don't get in trouble for this. Hello. Um, so, yes. um, yeah, I got to go. So today's today we're going to be literally calling the police, uh, having them bring animal control out. Yeah. And uh, once they bring animal control out, then we will be uniform. Uh, like well, drawing out the locks, and then we'll go ahead and take possession of the house. But this is going to be one of those uh, days. It's going to be kind of uh, what's the word? Oh, okay. Cool. One of those days it's going to be kind of. Uh, uh, interesting, I guess that's the right word to say. Interesting. Um, I ain't never seen police and animal control have to go into a house and all that other kind of stuff. You know, we always drill out locks, all, you know, things like that. But these dogs, a mm, whole other story. And I'm talking about big dogs. At least they bark sound big. And the other day, uh, one was in the picture window when he was jumping up and down. I said, oh, he's a pit. And he's a big pit. So I'm sure that the house stinks. I'm sure that uh, they've been gnawing on my wood and things like that that I'm not going to be too happy about. But uh, I got to get it. I got to get it. The, more, the longer I wait, the more damage they're going to do uh, to the property. So uh, this house is a nice cobblestone house in a very, very, very nice neighborhood. Uh, it has a two-car garage, a uh, detached two-car garage onto it long driveway and uh, we own that and the rest of the block so uh you know so when we do decide to sell we're not only be selling that piece of property but also the land all the way down to the corner and uh this property is probably i'm going to say on top of my head it's worth from between 130 to 150 we paid eleven thousand dollars for it um so we're going to make a nice profit off of this but we got to take possession of it first all right, uh, ah. this thing, it's broke now, so I gotta try to fix it. So, all right, so we got the crew with us. Of course, we got Brittany with us uh, over here. Say, what's up, B? Hello. And then, um, uh, even though she is not officially staffed, she pretty much always with us. And that is Harlan back there in the back. And then, you guys, we might as well go and put Chuck on the FFU squad because it looks like every time I go live in the car, Chuck is somewhere around. And I'm got to try to fix this thing, man. I think it's broke, though. 
I think it's gone. We gotta get another uh, the thing to hold the phone because this thing is tripping. All right, so we're in front of Chuck's house now. You go ahead and call him. Tell him come out. So some people was, may ask, uh, okay, George, well, you said the house is worth 130 to 150, but you only paid eleven thousand dollars for it. He outside looking up at him. Um, how did you do that? We actually acquired property through a tax lien sale, um, and we I literally bought over 100 properties, acquired them through a tax lien sale, and our people have bought over 300 properties in just this area alone uh, from tax lien sales, you guys. We've bought, and I'm not being funny, but somewhere between 15 to $30 million of property uh, after repair value. Um, 15 to $30 million, literally, um, for property, and I would probably say 95% of them own debt free. Yeah, 95% uh, of them own debt free. Chuck is walking his pit bull. Um, so. All that being said, you guys, uh, we're on our way to the property now. It's going to be interesting. Um, if somebody can bring up the comments, so I can see comments, Periscope or Facebook, uh, it's going to be pretty interesting, you guys. Uh, yeah, uh, this is going to be very interesting. So, I think, I think they're using the house as a doghouse. It's like a hundred and thirty thousand dollar house, y'all. And they got like I don't know, it's either three or four. I'm gonna let you guys decide when we get there. I mean, let y'all play a game. Guess how many dogs are in this house? <laughs> Cause I'm not gonna do it. That's all you hear is it's like Lord Jesus, how many in here? Uh, so I got two workers. One is named Brian and one is named Chuck that's in the back now. They both consider themselves to be dog whisperers, right? Yeah, They're. Yeah. Oh, I left the leash. On the you left the leash. Yeah. You want to go back and get your leash? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. What's going? What's going on? Uh, everybody. So we're gonna go back so Chuck can go get his leash. So you gonna Chuck think he gonna keep one of these dogs? They big dogs. They big dogs. But just in case, Chuck is like, I'm going to animal control. That's that's bottom line. Like I ain't dealing with it. I, I I'm not dealing with it. I ain't dealing with it. I'm not dealing with it. I don't care if they shoot me in the back of the head. I don't care if they inject them and kill them. I just want them out of my house. They can go to a nice home. I don't care what they do with them as long as they get out of my house. Period. Now Brian is like, no, you can't call. Anybody is going to kill the dog. Like, he is a dog lover. Like he's an animal lover, not just a dog lover. He's just an animal lover. You can't do that, George. They're going to kill the dog. The dog is tearing up my house and preventing me from going inside. I just want to remove the obstacle. That's it. What happens to it after that? I don't care. And then this one over here is always trying to make a profit off something. Uh, Mr. Chuck, that's why he went back, just went back and got his leash. Tell him, like, man... These dogs could be profitable. They're talking about these Chuck, talking about these dogs could be profitable. No, they're not. Right now, they're a liability. They stop me from getting in my house. They tear up my house. They do do it in my house. And they probably chewing up my house. They got to go. They got to go, Craig. They got to go. So, um, yeah, I'm getting excited by the city. And uh, this is a beautiful home, man. It's beautiful. You guys will see it when we get there. Beautiful home. So Brian will be meeting us over there. Um, Brian will be meeting us over there. He's also another dog whisperer. And then Chuck is going with us. But uh, now I brought two animal, two dog whisperers with me and the popo. <laughs> so Brittany is the the administrator over here. Brittany, tell her the documents that you done brought with him. Tell tell him what all you done brought with you. Yeah, tell me what you got. I have a tax deed. You want to show the citation on it, too? Yeah, you can go and tell them what you got. Okay. Hi, everybody. I have a tax deed. So ah, it won't stay up. 
I got to I got to I got to fix this. Glue on it, man, man forget that glue. I'm going to, I do got some gorilla glue in here. And we got a citation on the property too. Got to look for it. I thought Brittany put some glue on me. I took the glue out. I just don't remember seeing it in here forever. I had some in my purse, but. All right. So, Brittany bought the deed to the house so we can prove to the police that it's our property. They're going to look it up on the computer system anyway. Uh, but we need to be able to prove that it's our property. And then, you know, we get incited for it. I'm like, man, I, I've never been in the house, can't enter the house, can't do nothing with the house. Because these dogs are there, and then y'all going to cite me for, uh, what was the cite for, B? Uh, maintenance of the property. Maintenance Creating of the property. This is the... Trash debris. Uh, maintaining the lawns on the side, front, and rear. And an abandoned vehicle on blocks, or an abandoned vehicle to two or more flats or jacks or dismount. So, I don't know who did this one, but this is some bull. Deputy Lacey. Uh, that's the clerk. That ain't the officer. This is the clerk. But don't got the. Uh, but I got this on February 25th. Uh, no, I got to be at court on February 25th. Um, I want to respond for maintaining the entire property. Uh, I guess that's the house and the garage. But the house is in really good shape. I want to take pictures of it so I can show the judge. The house is in really, really, really good shape. Um, Creating a nuisance, exterior amount of trash debris, debris that's interest to anyone's health. This, as far as I've seen, I'll go over here and look, but I ain't seen no debris. When I say this is a nice house, this is a nice house. Did y'all see any debris when we rode by that? This is on the back porch. And, right, and that's on the back porch. Uh, maintain lawns on side and front. There's nothing wrong with y'all. I'm going to take y'all, I'm going to let y'all see this. An abandoned vehicle. Now there is an abandoned vehicle there, um, but it's been moved. Like it, it was hey, at the front. Right. Hey, why you playing though? Seriously, tell him to come get it. I'll take that four hundred and whatever he do with it. Well, I ain't got no title to it. I don't know if I can do that. Title. That ain't my property. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm like, hey, he parked on my property. He's been here for too long. I don't know if I can legally, because that's considered like me selling the property. And I don't think I can legally sell it, because I got to go about the right way of titling it to myself. So, I don't know. The car got to go. I'm getting sight. I'm getting sight for their car. It's, it's got to go today. Today. So I can say that I've taken care of all of these and. Um, yeah, I'm taking care of all of them because it don't look good, y'all. just don't look good. So, the neighbors have to be calling on the property because when you guys see the property, you guys will know, like, there's no way somebody drove by this house and was like, this house is horrible. Like, it just didn't happen. So, the neighbors are probably concerned and upset about what the activity is going on over there. And, uh, so, we just gonna have to go fix it. These are the days in the life of being a, you know, a real estate owner. Can't say a landlord because ain't nobody in the property, but a real estate owner, right? There's some things that you just got to deal with. And this is one of them, like this behind the scenes stuff. Like, wait, you had to fight a dog? No, no, I didn't have to fight a dog, but I had to get a dog I removed so that I could actually see my property. I don't fight dogs. We shoot dogs, right? But I, I don't know how much I would be in my right if I opened the door and just and shot them. I don't know. Like, and I'm not privy myself to a lawsuit. So the best thing to do is just call the police and bring the dog whispers with us. No, nah, man. The, whoever the dog owner is could probably can literally come back and well, I ain't gonna say they can, but they may have a right to sue you if you kill them. Animal like they squat. Right. Well, the animals don't have squatting rights, no, but about the like they squat. well, even if they squatting, they got rights. They got squatters' rights. So. Well, yeah, you gotta actually have them legally evicted if they actually there. Like, right. they they actually got right. They probably got more rights than most tenants. I don't understand those laws. How? How? Help me understand, y'all. How squatters have rights? 
like you got squatters rights like they really wrote rights for people who steal property like that's stealing you are living someplace that you're not supposed to be that's still in thinking about that i was told by another one of my contractors that i got another house that somebody squatting in matter of fact we got my so we're going to leave here and go to another house that somebody may be squatting in said so, webby said i should have grabbed that key Oh, um, well, he said the window's been removed, so we probably go through the window. Yeah, through the basement. Yeah, that's what he said. The basement window, they they took out, they took it out. So we just go through there. So the great thing about this is that, like, literally, this is three blocks away from the police station, so it shouldn't take long for the police to get there because it's literally three blocks away from the police station. So that's going to be interesting as well. Um. that word this morning that was actually a good morning man that's a really good review uh what we're going with that okay guys so we're we're on six now and we got to go down to Fillmore. so we're probably seven to eight blocks away before the fun starts no it's one we're going north yeah all right you're right it's the one we're going south you're right uh -uh, it's on 665 ain't it If this is six, then six sixty five should be down that way, right? Oh, stop sign. Oh, stop sign. I didn't see it. It's six sixty five. Right. We just run the signs. <laughs> this is close to the police station. This the other house. We own this one right here, Chuck. Yep. yep. That two flat right here. Right No, nah, that two flat building back there. Oh, really? That's another one I ain't never been in. Y'all, we got so many properties like. I guess we need to go on that one too, yeah, right? Brittany's phone is ringing. I think she's frustrated. What's wrong, B? I've been working calm. Huh? No, I want to say that address. Oh, well, it's too late now. I said it. Okay, well, I can't take it back. <laughs> hey, y'all didn't hear that address I just put out there. What up, cop? Is that another police officer? Yeah. Sweet, sweet. Yeah, I, I, told, I told him it's like three blocks away from the police station. So the police station is going to turn this around. That's one of my old work. Guys, I made a mistake and hit the wrong button. So I got both of the dog whispers with me, y'all. Dog whisperer number one. <laughs> hey, Brian, check this out. Yeah, I know. They still need. Brian, check this out. So this is it's a site. I got cited for maintenance of the entire property. Do you see anything wrong with this property? Maintenance, yeah. Maintenance? Yeah. What? What, they got to trim, trim the hedges? They can't make me trim the hedges, can they? Yeah. Creating a nuisance of amount of trash and debris? Uh, yeah. Right there. Where? Right there. Right there. Right there. This is a nuisance of amount of trash and debris? I guess so. Are uh, y'all knocking the door first? Make sure ain't nobody there. Huh? Yeah. All right, here he come. This is actually my house, sir. This is actually my house. I've been here for two years. I own the deed to this house, so you, you might as well. Deed to this you house? need to get your dogs out of my house. Look, I'm gonna show you something. Give me the deed, Brittany. Bring me the deed. I'm, the police are already on, the police are already on their way. Thank you, come because look, I can show you who gave me the house. I don't care who gave it to that. you. I got the deed. This is my house. That's fine. Y'all still got to give me time to get all my stuff out and move because okay. this is not. Hey, right. hey, 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 hey. Been here for two years. Hey, hey. Now I know you he heard me. Yeah. 
So and I don't need to get arrested. Well, I don't want to get you arrested. Right. But, I'm gonna tell you. But, who I, sold but, I, but, I, but I don't care who sold it to you. You don't have to tell. No, me. nobody sold it to me. Okay. The last owners of the house let me stay here. Okay. Well, they're not the last owners anymore. I'm right. the owner. That's all. I and need you to can't know. stay here without giving me no rent. You can't stay here with these dogs in my house. Absolutely. The dogs gotta go. They turn my you. house up. I, I have been by you. this house about 15 times in four months. About 15. Hey. Appreciate that. About 15 times in four months, I have been by this house. You won't open the door. You won't answer the door. Okay. Okay. Well, you won't open the door. I've come at different times of the day, different times of the hour. You won't open the door. You won't let me in. Man, I left my card on the door. I got a I left a Financial Freedom University card with my number on it. You never called me back. You never done anything. I didn't want to call the police. I didn't want to do this. I own over a hundred. I own over a hundred properties. I've never had to call the police to get in any of my properties. Okay, so put your dogs up. I need to see my house. It don't make a difference if you got a key or not. It's my house. I'm getting sighted. I'm getting sighted. This is the city siding me on the house. Okay, so I just look at this. I'm getting sighted on the house. All right, I just want to show you. I, okay, we'll I put didn't the dogs do nothing up. Wrong. Okay, put the dogs up. I just want to show you. I did nothing okay, wrong. Okay, well, I'm not telling you did something wrong. I just need possession of my house. All right, because guess what? I will move out and all of that. Okay, well, I need you to put the dogs up. All right, stop. Can I put my dogs up real quick? Yeah. Stop, come here. Come here. Yeah, they ain't going to do nothing. They're pussies. <laughs> oh, they look, they. Look, they, they I got some bumpers. They're good dogs. He's an actor. I'm not shit. You're not scared of them, Brian? Oh, hell no. No, these are good dogs. Like, he's telling everybody that. Come here. 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 All right, that's all I want you guys to know. Okay. My best friend gave me this house a long time ago. His name was Antoine what? Wilson. Well, he didn't pay the taxes on it. I know. We were trying to figure all that out this year. All right, I just want you to know. She ain't going to bite nobody. She ain't going to do nothing. The dogs ain't going to do anything to nobody. Okay, all right. We got other people with us, so can you be kind enough to put them in? Yeah, there? I got females yes, with us. Thank you. Oh my gosh, y'all the wind, the wind make this happen. Don't be like, George is crying. No, the wind. I don't know why, but this, when the wind hit it the right way, it just. All right, so. Um, Come here. Come here. Y'all got to see this, right? This, I, I ain't never seen this before. So, cool. Let's go check it out. Which one? He's fine, I got him. Look, I promise you, I've been trying to save my money. Listen, man, we'll, we'll, we'll work something out, man. We'll work something out. The government keeps denying me of all assistance. The government keeps what? denying me of all assistance. They all put up? No, they put they're they're right now. All right? We'll work something out. I've been here for two years, bro. I've been trying to get out of this house. I want you to know that. Okay. I've been trying to save up my money. I got that car out there in the driveway. I had got did bogus my first partial auction. The state of Indiana has been fucking with me because I got my license together, I got my life together, I got off probation and everything, and they just keep fucking with me. The police, Holbert, Gary, everywhere I go out here. Okay. And I'm from Chicago, and I don't want no problems with nobody. And I don't need nobody to take any of my stuff. I'm not going to take anything of yours, man. And I don't need no police to arrest me or do nothing. I'm not. Because you... I've never seen no card on the door or anything. I swear well, I put, to God. I put servings on this door. I put a 4.5 and a 4.6 serving. Somebody the dogs, had to have took them the, the off. Do, the dogs then came back up. I promise you, they're, they're, they're good dogs. They won't bite nobody. Look, they're friendly as hell. Okay. I saved this dog two years ago with nine babies. I've been trying to save her, get that kilo removed, everything. I got trial. Come here, Chaos. I got trial in two days because they took my. I got in a Cadillac accident. They said they suspended my license, but the, no police. Well, I'm just. Officer. I'm just glad that you actually home. Man, I've been trying to get in this house literally for about. I was on my way to work just now. Oh, just now? And you yeah. see me? And you see me pull up? Yeah, I just seen all the cars out there, and I just. You remember him? 
I thought so. Is he, he from six? Us, he helped us carry that. Is he, he from six? six? From yeah. six. Man, all I do is you work. help me carry granite on six. You remember helping some guys carry, carry some granite in? It was you yep. Is you and a black dude? Yep. All I do is work out. I here thought that was him. That's why you said you remember him. Yeah. You remember no, the house? All I do is work, and I've been trying. to Remember you told me you walked from six over to Glen Park. I walk there every day to work, find work everywhere. You help yeah, you have that grant. You help me carry some grant into a house. You yep. remember that? Yep. That's look, me. I, I, my, I own over 100 properties. Remember I told you that? And yep. I had some work? Look. Who are you I, working for now? The tree service and myself. I'm a certified innovator. Yeah, you told, me, you told me. You told me all that. I got all my certifications in the car right yeah, now. Yeah, you told me all that. I got my phone in the car where I was just posting the story on live of how I got trial in two days of how all Gary right. did. Well, we we going to work something out, man. It might be a blessing that we here. All right. Yeah, because I, all I've been trying to do is get pipes in the basement What's it looking so like I can get man? water. I'll show you the basement. Left. Look, <laughs> I had somebody try to kill me in this house. Set all three doorways on fire because I had a kid staying here with me. Hey, what and you mean they set the doorways on fire? They been set a fire all here? three doorways on fire. Gary police came here and they blamed it on me. Because I didn't answer the door. Somebody stuck the hand with hey, the man, gas. Hey, man, but like this stuff, like this, man, this dog piss is running my wood, I man. I already know because, look. It's running my wood, man. Look at this. I, look at I'll my floor. I replace everything. No, look. you can't replace this, man. But look, there's no water because somebody cut the pipes out this house. There's all no right. water, man, because it ain't nothing legal. Man, you got dog shit all over my house, man. I'm about to clean that up. I have no water, bro. I keep trying to get pipes in the basement. I've asked everybody to help me put basements. You can see all the fire damage from here when they set all three doorways on fire. They, this, this wasn't here two years ago because two years ago I, I came and looked at this house. I know, and this happened all this last year. Motherfuckers tried to kill me in this house because some kid died on the street. Gary police came here, everything, blamed the fire on me and everything. I ain't Man. trying to cause nobody no problems. And my dude was trying to get the money up to pay the back taxes. Well, the taxes already been paid. I already right? know that yeah. now. I know everybody got up to two years to pay their back taxes. Yeah, and if not, then, you know, they the sell it. The takes it, and then it's on the bank, and then it's No, the city, the city took it. The right. city sold it to me, or the county took it. The county sold it to me. Right. Yeah. What's up? You, you, you been shoveling all the dog shit from up here down in that path? No, all that you stuff that's dog? been down there has been down there. It's down, there's a bunch of dog duty in the basement. It's on the corner this, over this there. Is, all that no, shit has been I'll down there. Because look, I don't even go in the basement or the bathroom hey, on, or the back see. door. Somebody at the door. Is it the girls? Uh, the girl and the police. Hey, how y'all doing, man? Good. You the owner? Yeah, well, yeah, He's I'm the good. owner. Everything's good, you. though. Yeah. It ain't good till I say it's good. How you doing, Officer Jolly? Good, how can I help you? Doing well. Come on, hold this. Uh, my name is George Hall, and I own the property. I brought up a tax deed, mm -hmm. and I couldn't get access to the property because every time I came by, nobody opened the door. And hopefully you guys could all call Animal Control because now they decided on the house. Now they said that we got a nuisance. You're on the phone with him right now. I don't, I don't care what sense. And nevertheless, he has a deed. So you got to go. I understand. I'm proud of the time to get all my stuff out. You have a right to get your stuff out when you say you get your stuff out. This house mm -hmm. is here. I understand that. So, I mean, I, we'll work something out with the dog. Feet to the door. We'll work something out and turn on my house. All right, I'll get my dogs now, out of here. Now, if you want somebody to take care of your dogs until you get on your feet or well, whatever. Uh, is there, I have no control over this. I appreciate it's it, dog. matter. I'm, I, mean, I, don't, I don't care how you got here. My, I just want you to All right, appreciate that, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I ain't never raised it, so oh, I've been fixing. <laughs> I don't need no uh, inconvenience more. <laughs> yeah. No, I've, I've had enough stitches. <laughs> 
really am. I, I really am. I, I never wanted to live here or none of that. And I only have one key to the house. And I'm just worried about all my stuff getting stolen when I'm at work today. I'll give you guys my number, everything. Cool. How many guys do you get? Just two. I had two guys. So when you get big, you know, oh, sure. have a little video. It's a little bit too big for me. I don't know what everybody's dogs. <laughs> like, you just going to leave us in the house with the dogs, It looks bro. like he just stays, like, right here. He didn't mm. use anything else. I'm sorry. What are you peeing and pooping at? In the house? <laughs> you can smell I, that. <laughs> yeah, because before he ever opened the door, I could smell the urine. Exactly. What are you doing? Watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, yeah, that's a tumor. Oh, Something oh about God. this part here. Oh, they ain't gonna do nothing. Oh my God. Um, Trying to find out. Oh, that's a tumor. <laughs> You're breeding them dogs. <laughs> <laughs> that's a tumor. That's a tumor. That's that, they could take that off. Mm, that's, that's sad. What, that's hanging? That's, that's hanging off of? Yeah. Um, what are you doing? What are you doing? Come on here, buddy. You're okay. Come on inside. Come on. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying, buddy. Did I hear my name? Oh, they called you. What? That's a tumor. Yep. Yeah. They threw her out. Yeah, I Stop. Go over there. Go over there. Go over there. Yeah, I don't even go up there. Everything that's been up there has been like that since I've been there. The only time I stay in this house is right here. Yeah, I just want you guys to know that. Because somebody cut the pipes out and there's been no water. I go down to the church, I feel water, jugs, I try to keep the house as clean as best as I can. Come on, Stop, buddy. You're You're quiet. Come, come here. You're quiet. Come here, bud. Oh, I'm, come I got here. a dog at home. Get I'm over still here. working in a humane society. Come here. I'm good. Come here. Sit. Alright, yeah. just so y'all will believe me, I know y'all can look up the previous owner of the house. His name is Antoine Wilson. Just so y'all know I wasn't lying. Hey, who it? That's my uh that car runs. That's my car. That's an Audi A6. It needs some brakes and rotors and has some electrical issues. Go, Frank. That the first Go. marshal, look, I bought that car at the first marshal auction and they did me bogus because they said they picked me off from the start. When I went to buy my car, you got title to it? Yeah, I got the title and everything. I was in this house two years ago, man. These two. This, this house just kind of looked like this. The kitchen did. The kitchen looked just like this. It's up, it looked like somebody had just put them in. This kitchen, this kitchen used to look brand new. I already right? know. Everything yeah. used to look brand new. Yeah. But what you do to it? There's been no water here. And I never hear because I'm always out working trying to get on my feet. Well, how you living with no water, man? How you bathe? I go to my people's house down the streets, wherever, to take a shower. Why does that one drink water? I go down to the church and fill up water jugs because the lady lets me or the lady across the church? The Lutheran right. church down here? Yep. Or that the church lady. is still active? Yep. No, just their houses. The lady, I talk to the lady there and then the lady across the street helps me. This right here, when it sits on the floor like this? I already know. It warps my wood. Do you know what, how much, you know how much hardwood flooring costs? Absolutely. You gonna work that out, bro? Absolutely. You gonna, you gonna work that out? Don't go in the face. I got it on. 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 I got
I'm only 27 and I'm only one person and I'm out here alone. Oh. You Why don't you know that? If I had family, I would be with them. You feel the family? Is it still alive? Yeah. Y'all. He got a whole pile. Dude. <laughs> Dude, you literally have about 20 minutes to get that doo-doo from downstairs in that basement. I got you. Literally, man. You got a whole pile. How you living in a house with a whole pile of dog doo-doo in the basement? Oh, because I don't go nowhere ever in the house, but right here. You can't even breathe that's, down there. That stuff has just been down there. Man. No, that's fresh. I just it's fresh. Well then the dog got in through the back door because y'all no. can show you outside. Bruh, you that stuff down there. It's in the pile. Dogs don't do to in piles. Right. They find different spots. You did that. Look, I'm just don't lie about I don't care about that. Alright. I got you. And get this stuff up. I'll be back in an hour. Alright. One hour. Hey, where your key at, man? I only got one key. That's all right. I'm going to take the one key and I'm going to make copies of it. I'll be back. Great. Right. Putting you out. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not putting you out. You, but we got to figure something out. I promise you, this ain't my fault, bro. I'm not saying it's your fault, man. I don't, don't cry. I'm not crying, but it's just how you're treating me and yelling at me, bro. Because you tear my house up, man. You know I'm never here, bro. It doesn't make a difference if you're here or not. You're making excuses, man. You're right. You're living in the house. Right. There's no water here. You're still in electricity. You're right. Right? I got you. You, the dogs are tearing up my house, and I'm still saying I ain't going to put you out. Right, I'm bro. giving you grace. You're right. I got you. All right. We'll clean it up. Yo. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's that bad. Well, let me show y'all the house. Now the house is gonna be beautiful when we're done. The tub is the tub is wonderful. To the the room that he's sleeping in. That's the basement door, and that's the door that's gonna come in from upstairs. And that's the thick that's the door to going on to the kitchen. Brian and climbed in here? Yeah. And Chuck going in too? Monkey see, monkey do. So that used to be that used to be beauty chairs. Yeah, that used to be beauty chairs in here, like salon chairs. Oh man, it's stank in here. All that stuff used to be in here. Nah, they coming out. Right here, man. Right here. Right where? Right here. Where is it at? It's what's left of it. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, hell to no. <laughs> Only on reality rehab. <laughs> Probably not. What y'all breaking in there? Did they even try to run? <laughs> You gonna cut yourself, man? Let me see your hands. You good? Come on, B. You're all right. Come on, man. They can't get out. They plan me, but they can't get out. Oh, they can't get out Where's he at? I don't want to leave him. I don't know what they is. Whatever it is, it's nice size. It's got nice dents in the snow. Yeah, See that claw? Right See the claw? Might be right there. Yeah. yeah. Good. Brian, were you okay? There he is. Uh, I worry I wasn't going to leave you. Uh, <laughs> you all right? He, man, he panicked. <laughs> Trust me. Man. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, Why? He gonna get in the car after he on the day? Yeah, he can be in the car. That's okay. <laughs> hey, Brian. You want, you want one of them dogs? Nah. You don't want one? Nah. Okay. Oh, they ain't worth a fuck. Um, I seen him. Like, you know, them dogs ain't shit. He will. I didn't know that. I told you it was at least three in there. How many in there? Two. Yeah, I bet they died. Living like that. Come here, Come here, Oh, this one of your friends? Okay. What's going on, Terrell? Oh, uh, he worked for you? No, we're going to do a side job. Just going to do a side job. What you do? I'm retired. What kind of, what kind of work you do with the since you retired? Professional painter, floors, drywall. All right. All that stuff. Plumbing, you got pictures of your work? Not on me. All right. Well, I can't produce them. I'm George, man. George, I, own, nice I, I own about 100 properties in the city. Yeah. And I wow. need a whole, I need a whole lot of renovation stuff going on. Wow. So That's if you right. got your phone number, man, give it to one of my. All these, these is all my staff. Okay. Give it to one of them, and uh, we'll see what we can work out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. All yeah, right. Man. All right, y'all. So. This is the episode in the Chronicles. Oh my gosh. It's cold out here. My house that was once a time, just very, very, very nice. Looking at it, we got about 15 to 20 thousand dollars put into it. But again, if I gotta put 15 to 20 into it, guys, this house will sell for 130, 140. I don't think I can get 154. But I can get 130, 144. And uh, that's gonna be all make it all worth it. So all together, we're probably looking at probably about a thirty thousand dollar investment for a hundred and thirty thousand dollar house, the hundred thousand dollar return, and we'll probably have it done within the next ninety days. Y'all yeah. put in the comments if y'all think I treated this guy fairly or not. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna go make a copy of this key. Huh? Okay, well, I'm gonna make a copy of this key and I'm coming back. And, um. You think I. I don't know, man, but I don't wanna put him out, B. What you think I should do with him? You think I should put him out? Yes. Yes. Everybody say put him out. That's. That's my that's my heart talk. My heart always get me in trouble too. I thought you had him too. I mean, I'm, yeah, was, I'm gonna send him over to your house. <laughs> you <laughs> Your whole face was you said no. That's how I'm y'all, Brian said. <laughs> that whole face straighten up real quick. I be, I'm gonna go get a key, and uh, and then I'm going to once we do that, I'm gonna come on over to six. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think the best thing to do is that go ahead and put him out. Yeah, because that's you gotta listen to your best. She still saw that video. She wants to put him out. <laughs> huh? Yeah. How, much, how far we got to go? <coughs> All right, you got drywall done? Okay. Well, I was waiting for the mud to get done because once that, I think we'll be downhill. The mud ain't going to get done until I get more material. Oh, what, what, you, what you need for mud? Okay, well, let's. Is there someplace I can make a key on the way? Yeah. I want to get. My, my, my goal is to get him out first. Can we can do that, man? Huh? Okay. Hey, I'm about to go to Ace on 25th. In Broadway? In Broadway? Is, it, is there any place else you can think of? Unless we go to Menards on 37th. I'm going to get this key made. Or better yet, you know what? We might not have to get one because if we're going to put them out, we'll just keep the key. All right, we'll go to six. I thought you said you had another one somebody was squatting in through. Yeah, bro, Chuck, you just, you, you ready, ain't you? Yeah, you know, my mind frame ain't uh, there right now. George, you hear 
All right, you guys. We'll be back. Y'all will leave a comment to what y'all thought about this one. This is probably the most exciting, <laughs> the most exciting live I've done. Y'all get out my house. That's my house. No, nah, bruh. This is my house. <laughs> I wonder if you know this is a one way. Oh, it is a one way. All the signs are facing the wrong other way. Yes, we might need to make a U. Yeah, he turning now. Look at that house right there, y'all. This is old historic gear right here. Why are you sir? Look at that house right there. That house is so pretty. So look at this neighborhood. Just so pretty. Look at this. Look at the neighborhood. So pretty. So it's old historic brick houses. This old historic brick houses. So pretty. All right. And um, I don't know. All right. I'll see you guys later. All right. Bye.